Hey guys, Claude Johnson here with GuitarControl.com and I want to give you an exercise that's going to help you practice your scales, chords, and arpeggios kind of all in one exercise. So, you pick any key, we'll do it in the key of C, and basically you play the chord, then you play the scale in the position, then you play the chord again, then you play the arpeggio, and then you play the chord one more time, alright? So, and the trick is you want to stay within the same area of the neck. So let's take the key of C and we'll we'll just work off this position here. Alright? So first play the chord C major seven. Play this up the scale. Chord again. Then arpeggio. Now let's go to the next note, D minor seven. So we'll start in the D. And then we'll play the arpeggio. Notice how we're staying all within these couple frets. Next one, E minor 7. F major 7. Seven or G dominant seven. Arpeggio. Now A seven or A minor seven. There is. We have a couple of choices here. If we want to stick to just uh, playing the normal voicings with the root on the uh, either the low E string or the A string, we could play down here or up here, or we could find some other voicing that's more within here, maybe like this one. Okay, but for now I'll just do this one. Okay. Arpeggio. And then B minor 7 flat 5. Oops, sorry, play the scale first. And then arpeggio. And then back to the C. Alright, so um, hopefully uh, that's a cool exercise for you. And uh, I actually kind of got this from uh, one of my teachers, Clay Moore. Uh, you can check out his jazz course at uh, guitarcontrol.com slash jazz. All right, so thanks for watching. And uh, also, if you'd like to get the uh, tab for this exercise, just go to the link in the video description. And once again, if you want to check out our jazz course, guitarcontrol.com slash jazz.